Hello investors, my name is Dehan and welcome back to your number one place for all your investing needs. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the top three penny stocks to buy right now, according to analysts, with price targets of up to 168%. So let's dive on in and check them on out, guys. The first penny stock to buy right now by analysts is going to be according to Maxim, and it's going to be Super League Gaming. So Maxim Group initiated a coverage on the Super League Gaming, giving a buy rating on the company. The firm also set a $6 price target on the penny stock, suggesting a potential upside of 91% compared to its closing price on Friday. Now, will SLGG stock manage to reach these heights? Well, we'll have to see. One of the hotter areas of the tech space, believe it or not, has been esports. Now, instead of building teams or developing the games themselves, Super League has taken a different approach. The company provides video game derived entertainment as well as an esports community aggregator and media distribution. Now, Super League recently announced a partnership with Harina to produce and distribute video games and esports entertainment. Now, Harina Data is one of the best kept secrets in video games and esports. They have an impressive set of, of initiatives and dedicated to making esports and gameplay accessible to uh, an every increased global audience of players, fans, and viewers. Chief Commercial Officer of Super, Super League Gaming in February press release. Uh, in addition to the bullish uh, analysts and recent progress, institutions have also gotten you know behind a penny stock. Now, both Nomis Bay LTD and 3ILP reported stakes in the company at the end of February. So let's take a look. Ticker symbol SLGG Super League Gaming. This one was up about 6% today, and then after hours, it was up about another 5%. So if we take a look right now, it's trading at $3.32. Uh, you know, throughout 2020, it pretty much traded down here all the way to about $1.80 and stayed there for pretty much the whole year. Towards the end of the year, it started to pick up a little bit with volume picking up here, 2 million shares, and then up here, a few days of 2 to 3 million shares traded. The stock went from about $2.20 all the way to highs of about $3.90. So a good amount there, about an 80% increase in those couple of days now. We saw it sell off and then another huge volume right here uh, where it traded about 9 million shares. The stock went up again and we continue to trend on higher throughout January and February, especially if we go here about two or three weeks ago. This one definitely picked up some more volume trading at around 4 million shares. The stock went from about 350 all the way up here to highs of about 499 which is almost a resistance area, I guess you could say right there. Well, it really was a resistance area. So it bounced off of there because it was overbought. The stock bounced on back all the way down to about $3 per share. It bounced off of this uh, previous support level, previous resistance level. So previous resistance levels became new support levels. That's something we always see. So here in April and then again here in you know June and then once again in about the August time, we hit that resistance area around $3 and now that is our support level. We see it here twice where it bounced off of that area. So we bounced off of it, continue to trend on up. Now what we're going to be looking for is to fill up this gap all the way to about $4 and then after that to about $5. And then after we hit that price target, we continue to go higher and higher, try to make a new 52 week high. So hopefully more volume picks up. Now right here about all of analysts that we're seeing short term bearish, mid term it's bullish and then long term it's bullish once again. So this is not just one you know analyst that's bullish on this. There's a few that are saying that this stock is very bullish in the long term uh, hold for us. So let's take a look. I think that personally I'm going to give it a price target of six dollars per share. So we have an upside of about. 80 90 percent or so uh, to go throughout the rest of march and 2021 so let me know in the comments below what do you guys think about slgg super league gaming is it a buy right now a hold or a sell as always guys i appreciate each and every one of you for viewing my content so go ahead and smash that like button let's aim for 100 plus likes in the first 24 hours of the video being up also we're about to hit 21,000 subscribers so go ahead and subscribe to the channel Turn on that bell notification so you get notified every time we make a new video. If you guys want to sign up for Webull and get your two free stocks valued at up to $1,800, check out the link in the description and start trading on Webull. And if you guys want to get uh, alerts on our penny stocks live as we catch them, go ahead and join our Patreon so you can get access to our Discord where we chat you know, live every single day. The second penny stock on our list picked by analysts is going to be according to H.C. Wainwright and the penny stock is Rewalk Robotics LTD. So this week, H.C. Wainwright boosted its $2.50 price target to $3.50. The firm currently maintains a buy rating on the stock. Despite the analyst forecast only being about 32% higher than Friday's closing price, Rewalk has gained some traction in the past few days thanks to a few key developments. Now, this includes a raise of $40 million. The company intends to use the net proceeds for development activities for its ReStore and personal 6.0 devices, 
Rewalk also said it looks to broaden third-party payor and CMS coverage for its Rewalk personal device and commercialize its new product lines added through distribution agreements. Now, further uses of uh, proceeds also include R&D for its lightweight exosuit technology for potential home personal health uh, utilization for multiple indications and future generations designed for its spinal cord injury device, amongst other things, obviously. So, obviously, a raise of this size is nothing uh, to ignore. And since it's going towards uh, particular development targets, 2021 could already be ramping up in a big way for Rewalk. Now, in the most recent quarter reported on February 18th, the chief executive officer of Rewalk explained, we are encouraged with our overall results in uh, FY 2020. Now, although we have you know, faced and continue to face the effects of the Rona in several of our key markets during this last year, we progressed our CMS initiative as we created a new code for the exoskeleton. And if our planned coverage application is successful, it will allow a significant number of the U.S. spinal cord injury population access to our device. Our German insurance contracts and continue to expand as more payors are continuing them. And with our strengthened cash position, we uh, can maximize our company's potential. So with the fresh capital, bullish analysts, and a development plan for 2021, RWLK could be one of, uh, to watch as the market attempts to rebound right now. So let's take a look, guys. Ticker symbol RWLK, Rewalk Robotics LTD. This one was up about 8.68%, and then after hours, another 2.4%. So currently trading at $2.88. Short-term analysts are bearish, mid-term bearish, but long-term, very bullish. So this one here, pretty much throughout 2020, was trading around 120, 130 cents area until about the end of the year, so December. So since December, it went from 8, 118 all the way here to highs of about $6, which is huge. That is about a 400, 500% gain right there in a matter of two months. No, so volume has definitely been picking up. We see here 4 million shares, then we saw uh, 10 million, and even here 18 million shares. And right now we're currently trading between two and 10 million shares every single day. So volume has definitely been picking up in the past two or three months. And we can see here some nice huge green candles from 220 to about 338 and then continuing on higher and higher. Like we set the $6 high, the stock was way overbought at that six level, $6 level. So it took a you know huge cool off actually. It lost over 50% of its gains, came back down all the way to 270, which was the previous resistance area. That was the first you know bottom that we could find obviously. So it bounced off of that area right there it's building up a support hopefully had this previous resistance area build up a support here continue to you know trend on higher and higher and then we can break through again so with this one i'm going to give this one a price target of uh, five dollars and fifty cents per share for the rest of 2021 so let me guys know in the comments below what do you guys think about this one and last but not least the number three penny stock picked by analysts is going to be fortress biotech inc one of the pen biotech penny stocks we've discussed frequently has, you know, obviously been Fortress Biotech. The company has founded several other publicly traded biotech com businesses. So when you look at Fortress, you've also got to consider its related companies as they've uh, indirectly impacted momentum in the FBIO stock. Now, late last uh, week, HC Wainwright reiterated its buy rating on the penny stock. The firm also has a $10 price target, suggesting a forecasted upside of 168% compared to Friday's closing price. Now, whether or not that is going to be reached is depending on a lot of uh, the company itself. So HC Wainwright, however, isn't the only firm with a lofty target. Dawson James boosted its $16 price target earlier in February to $21. Between the two firms, they hold the highest forecast on FBIO. Now, needless to say, March also began with news from one of uh, Fortress-related companies, Checkpoint Therapeutics, CKPT, announced the formation of the Independent Scientific Advisory Board. The board is built with the leaders in the field of immunotherapy, lung, and skin cancers. It will work closely with Checkpoint's team to develop treatments for patients with solid tumor cancers, including Cosia Blamp and CK101. Now, we are honored to have the opportunity to work with such a distinguished group of clinical and scientific leaders on the development of our pipeline products, including uh, Cosimbalamb in our initial indications in skin and lung cancers and CK101 in lung cancer, as well as helping us identify new opportunities for development, said James F. Olivero, President and Chief Executive Officer of Checkpoints. So, Let's take a look, guys. This one, ticker symbol, FBIO. 
It was up about 4.3% and then another 4% in after hours. Uh, short term bearish, but mid term and long term, very bullish. So this stock is trading at around $3.88 right now. We see it, you know, it was on a huge uptrend throughout the half of the first half of the year, about three fourths of the year. Then we saw a huge sell off happen here, bounced back all the way back down pretty much to where it was in the beginning of the year. And then we continued another trend on up. So now we've hit this previous resistance area around $4.50 that we've hit twice here where we bounced and couldn't break through. So now we hit it, bounced back down again. Now we're gonna be looking to consolidate around this $3.70 area. Hopefully some more volume picks up. Right now we're trading around a million shares a day, which is decent, but we're gonna need some more volume to pick out, you know, pick up if we wanna break through that $4.50 area. If we can break through it, we can continue to go to $5, $5.50 and so on after that. So this one personally, I'm gonna give a price target of $7 per share for the rest of uh, March going, you know, throughout March in 2021. So definitely want to keep on your radar to see what's going to happen with FBIO for the long term. It has a lot of things in its pipeline, and I think that it has a you know a great uh, future for success. So seven dollar price target on FBIO personally. Let's see what happens with it throughout 2021. And as always, guys. So none of this is going to be financial advice. I am not a financial advisor. This is just for educational purposes. These are just three penny stocks that analysts are picking with targets of up to 168 percent. Now it's up to you to go ahead and go do some research, do your own due diligence on the these penny stock and see if they fit your criteria and the drug that they, they have in their pipeline or the products uh, if they fit you know your criteria and if they should be traded or not so you must do your own research before investing if you guys want to sign up for webull obviously get your two free stocks links are going to be in the description you guys can do some paper trading on webull where you can use some fake money you know fake paper trading that way you can get your feet wet and learn how to trade penny stocks if you've never traded them before and as always i want you guys to leave a comment below letting me know what penny stocks are you buying right now are any of these on your buy list or not Smash that like button for me, subscribe to the channel, turn on that bell notification, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.